United States Grand Prix was a thrilling race, with Max Verstappen coming out on top after a close battle with Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris. The three drivers were evenly matched throughout the race, and they engaged in some brilliant racing. In the end, Verstappen was able to cross the line first, just two seconds of Hamilton. After the race, Hamilton's car was found to be in breach of the technical regulations. The skid block under the floor was not thick enough, which is a safety concern. As a result, Hamilton was disqualified from the race. The FIA has a responsibility to ensure that all cars are in compliance with the technical regulations for safety reasons. The skid block is an important safety feature on Formula One cars, and if it is not thick enough, it could fail and damage the floor of the car, which could lead to a loss of performance or even a crash. The problem came in the post-race inspection when race stewards inspected the skid block. The wood resin block, or plank, under the car is used to ensure teams follow the rules of how close they run the cars to the ground in search of better speed and performance. So, is it Mercedes' fault that they made a very low setup? Was it an unfair pace advantage for both Mercedes and Ferrari to run very low and catch up the Red Bulls? This disqualification will help McLarens catching up both Ferraris and Mercedes in Constructors' Championships for second place. So, there you have it. That's why Lewis Hamilton was disqualified from the United States Grand Prix. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.